everyone knows Pendulum's the best deck. I know it. My girl knows it. Your girl knows it. Well, that's my girl too. But what's the second best deck? Is it a deck that's been conquering OCG Asian land? Is it a deck that puts up Infinity in the Gates just like Pendulum's? Is it Inferno Bowl Knights? Well, that's what this video is today, boys. The potential newest best deck. So if you're ready for the video, smash the subscribe button. Get a beautiful Servant of Endymion. Clock play, man. While they before they all sell out, baby. Let's go. Get yours now. So if you're ready for this video, smash the subscribe button. And let's go, baby. I haven't posted a pendulum video in a very long time so if you want to see some pendulums let me know in the comments below and maybe your prayers will be answered with a budget pendulum video tomorrow let's go baby get ready for the most greatest inferno Bowl night combo tutorial y'all have ever seen what's good everybody it's your boy Hums from out there gaming and today guys i'm coming to you with a brand new video but before we get into that guys huge round of applause for steven for letting me upload this to his channel to show you guys how op and insane this deck is going to be hey whether you guys know me or not hopefully you guys will come to my channel as i'll be showing you guys the deck profile but anyways yeah i'm going to be showing you three insane essential combos for this deck ways to play around nibiru ways to play around hand traps ways to put out the biggest board possible and rip cards from your opponent's hands again guys make sure you guys subscribe to steven make sure you guys check out my channel and subscribe to me as well because i do upload daily content and i'm going to be doing a giveaway at 6k subscribers but enough talk guys let's get straight into these nasty combos so guys starting off with the first combo um, this is with Sublime Knight X Paladin. If you guys don't know what he does, he basically on normal summon or special summon, you can equip one fire warrior monster to him, and then he gives you like all sorts of other plays. But that's not the reason. Well, it is one of the main reasons. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna normal this guy, use his effect to equip Squeak Knight, and then we're gonna use Squeak Knight's effect to special summon himself. Essentially, um, he's a union monster, so that's how you special summon them. Then we're gonna link these two cards off into a sold, okay? Now, a lot of people are going to be asking me why I play um, X Paladin over Space Connector. And that's strictly because this is a Fire Warrior deck. And your best card in your deck, um, Infernoble Knight Roland, basically says if you control a Fire uh, Warrior, you can special summon it from your hand. And Space Connector and Dolphin are not Fire Warriors, but you do um, play them in your deck. But anyways, then we're going to link these two into Assault. Um, again, Assault add here is not necessary, but I added Connector just to show you guys like the differences and what they provide. And then we're going to go ahead and use the soul's effect to mill the one to summon our new guy, uh, Renaud. Essentially, what Renaud does is um, on summon, you can uh, target one equip spell or uh, warrior monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So this was really good, right? Because we're so used to actually dumping like Living Fossil and our Future Turn, all these useless cards apart from the uh, Divine Sword. But now that we um, actually milled this card, we can add it back. And if you guys don't know what Infer Noble Arms Durandal is, it's essentially another Rota for the deck. It's like an in archetype Rota. Add one level 5 lower Fire Warrior Monster from your deck to your hand, then destroy him. You can only use one effect and only once that turn, but it doesn't matter. Use its effect, we're going to equip it to any of the monsters, and we're going to add Olivier. So basically, the reason why this card's really insane is you can actually equip it to anything. So if you do get disrupted, you can actually just go Durandal, equip to the Nibiru token, and then Rota. But yeah, now we're going to use Olivier's effect in hand. And basically, Olivier says you can send one Fire Warrior Monster or a Curse Spell from your hand or face up to the field. Special this guy as a level 1 tuner. Super important that he becomes a level 1 tuner for this uh, instant right here. Now we're going to turn Assault into the card that is probably going to get banned, which is Link Cross. And then we're going to go ahead and go Link Cross, summon our two tokens. And now from here, we're going to uh, turn Link Cross and Olivier into our Hulk or Noodle. Noodle is going to go ahead and Noodle is going to summon our Olang. Now, this is really, really different than most combos that you guys see because obviously no Noodle usually summons like another monster. He doesn't summon um, O-Line because our Orodon summons O-Line. But this is a completely different combo. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually turn, uh, see right here, I I was going too quick. I was just too, too excited. But now we're going to turn one token and O-Line into our Marcher. Chain link one, chain link two. Um, chain link one, summon the token. Chain link two, this guy is going to go ahead and summon our Olivier. Now again, it's super important that we know that this is the level one token because we're going to turn that level one token and Olivier into our Roland. Now, if you guys don't know what Roland does is he's like an on summon effect. 
During the end phase, you send one Kissle from your deck to your hand, and then add a Fire Monster from uh, your deck to your hand. And then you also have a second effect, where a quick effect during the main phase, if he's in the graveyard, you can equip him to another monster. Basically, the equipped monster gains 500 attack. Super cool, he is a level 5 tuner as well. So now, essentially, what that gives us is we're going to turn a Noodle and the O-Lion token into our Aurorodon. Aurorodon's effect is going to trigger to summon our three tokens. And now from here, we're going to turn Roland and her token into our Savage. Savage is going to equip Hulk or his soul, doesn't matter. Then we're going to turn our Marcher and our uh, token into Charge Warrior. Charge Warrior is going to net us one card. So again, this is a one card combo, right? I want you guys to understand this. It's a one card combo. We have two free cards in our hands developed apart with the other three. So essentially, we have five more cards in our hand. So now we're going to turn this guy and Charge Warrior into our Charlemagne. So now basically Charlemagne's effect is when he's equipped with an equip spell except during the damage step, pop one card on the field. Then during the end phase, you can equip one equip spell from the graveyard to him. And then you can equip one uh, fire monster from uh, your deck to him as well. Really, really good. Um, yeah, so now right here, we go into the end phase. And now we're going to trigger our Roland. So Roland's going to send our smoke grenade to add our gear freed. And then Charlemagne's effect is going to trigger. And we're going to actually equip our smoke grenade from our graveyard. And we're going to equip our Ogi as well to Charlemagne. Now, what you guys could have done before um, actually entering the end phase, and you can also equip Olivier to Charlemagne as well. So that'll give him protection from card effects and from being targeted. And then, of course, he's a 3k monster, so he's like almost impenetrable um, to be destroyed by. But yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, and then, of course, we're going to go ahead and trigger Charlemagne's second effect, pop our smoke grenade, and rip a card from our opponent's hand. Okay? Now, if you guys noticed, we didn't actually use Ordon in our combo. So basically, this combo changes. If we actually just hard open the Durndal, because then instead of milling the Durndal for our uh, Renaud, we actually mill the Smoke Grenade instead, and you can add this back. Then you go Smoke Grenade equipped to uh, Charlemagne, Ordon effect tribute. So now you rip two cards from our opponent's hand. We have a Savage Negate. We still have um, public access of that, as well as during our opponent's turn, quick effect, we can use Roland to equip to the Charlemagne to pop a card in the field. So it's super good. And then you guys need to understand, these are three free cards we netted on top of the other four cards we have. So essentially we have seven cards in our hand. We have like a call by the grave, something like that we can set as well. So that's the first combo. Now let's get right into how to play around Nibiru. So now I'm going to be showing you guys a combo on how to play around Nibiru um, and what this deck provides. And this is essentially using the Infernal Noble Knight cards and what they provide to the deck. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and normal Ogie. Ogie's effect is on normal or special. You just mill um, a Fire Warrior monster or the Noble Arms card from your deck to the graveyard and then basically he can equip and whatever so right here this is one summon we're gonna send our phoenix gear for you okay now we're gonna go ahead and use our durndal to target the ogie and then use durndal's effect to add a renaud and then of course durndal destroys itself then we special renaud use renaud's effect target one fire warrior monster or a crystal on the graveyard add it we have the gear free two summons right now we're gonna link these two into our soul this is the third summon and the soul is going to go ahead and add us our red layer. It doesn't matter what you add here. And then that's our third summon. And now what we're going to do is we're going to banish our equip spell to special summon gear freed. Use Oge's effect to equip. And boom. Just like that, we dropped a monster negate uh, before the four summons. So this is why I put a big emphasis on playing Phoenix gear freed in the deck. And making the main engine of that your deck provides, which is actually um, the Infernal Noble Knights. But now anyways, we're going to uh, continue with the combo. We're going to go ahead and use a soul to mill four this time to get our Olivier since we already have had the access to Renaud. Of course, mill the four, um, just different names, but make sure you mill the smoke grenade. Super, super crucial to the combo. From here, we're going to go ahead and turn the soul into our Link Cross. Link Cross is going to summon our two tokens. But now this is where the combo changes depending on like what's in your hand, of course. But since this time Olivier is a four and not a one, we can actually turn Olivier and actually one of the tokens into our Roland and then Roland will trigger on summon again so during the end phase like a scarm thing now we're going to turn lane cross and we're going to turn our uh Roland into noodle noodle's effect is going to summon our jet sink on this time instead of our o-line right so now this is super cool and then we're going to go ahead and actually uh turn our hulk and our jet sink on into our Rorodon. make sure you keep the level one on board Rorodon's effect is going to summon our three tokens right here so if you guys are wondering no i don't play death Swap because right here there's never really a window to summon the other tokens so now we're going to go ahead and tribute our Ordon and our other token into o-line again make sure you know which one is the level one then right here we're going to turn our o-line and our level one into marcher in the extra monster zone it has to be in the extra monster zone, otherwise you're going to clog your zones with too many monsters so marcher is going to trigger 
and so is Olin. So Olin summoned the token. Marsha is gonna reborn our Roland. Super super cool interaction right there. Now we're going to go ahead and we're gonna turn Roland and a token into our Savage. Savage is gonna get Oridon equip. Then we're gonna turn Marcher and token into Charge. Then we're gonna go on summon Charge draw card. Charge and token into Charlemagne. And then right here we're going to go ahead and use <coughs> Olivier to equip to Charlemagne. And then during the end phase, we're gonna go ahead and proceed. We're gonna go uh, Roland, mill the Durandal, add the Astolfo this time, just because it's like more of an extender. But again, it goes to personal preference. I just prefer to have the Astolfo in my hand. And then we're gonna go ahead and then we're gonna use Charlemagne to equip the Smoke Grenade and equip our Ogier. And then Charlemagne's effect will trigger again to pop our Smoke Grenade, look at our opponent's hand, and rip a card. So now right here, um, we essentially played around in Nibiru to destroy um, like destroy this and equip and then as well as we set up a savage negate and we still have another monster negate for gear free like worst case scenario if something happened for whatever reason we you just phoenix banish these add a card we still have jet sync on there gave her follow plays as well as public knowledge on what our opponent has so we know what to negate then we have Charlemagne who's protected by uh, targeting and card effects gear freed as well protected by card effects and then we have like again we have like our hand totally replenished so this is another reason why I think that like this deck is super insane it's literally going to be like a threat to be reckoned with i'm going into the future <coughs> but yeah anyways now we're just going to get on to the third and final and like the most powerful combo that this deck can provide okay so boom now we've come to the third and final um combo of course it's not like the last combo that this deck provides if you guys want to see more combos make sure you guys check out uh, my channel at the gaming should be in the link down below and you guys can again see more insane in-depth uh inferno blight uh, combo tutorials again make sure you guys sub to me make sure you guys sub to steven make sure you guys like this video and go ahead and like my deck profile video as well but yeah we're gonna get into this we're gonna go ahead and normal x paladin x paladin get a squeak knight special summon squeak knight and then turn these boys into the sold and now what a sold adds here is actually super relevant so soul's gonna actually add our red layer and you guys will see why in a bit now we're gonna go ahead and use a soul's effect we're gonna mill the two, summon our secret six samurai Genba, level two fire warrior tuner. Super important that he's a level two tuner. You can play uh, TG striker, I believe he's like the cyber dragon, but Genba himself has synergy with the deck because it's fire. So now right here we mill our two. Now we're gonna turn Assault into Link Cross. Link Cross is gonna summon our two tokens. And now we're gonna turn Genba and a token into our metal marcher. And marcher is gonna target our Genba to reborn our Genba. Now we're gonna turn Genba into token. And we're actually going to turn this guy into an old card. Maybe you guys remember, maybe you don't. It's Tatsunoko. Now, Tatsunoko's effect is, if this Synchro Summon card will be used as Synchro Material, you can use one monster in your hand as one of the materials. Essentially, this nets us a free Savage Dragon off of what Assault added us. And then Savage will add us Assault right here. And then, of course, from here, we're going to go ahead and turn Marcher and Link Cross into Noodle. Noodle is going to go ahead and summon our Jet Synchron. And then from here, we're going to turn uh, Noodle and Jet into Oridon. Oridon's effect <coughs> summon us our three tokens. Now, right here, what we're going to do is we're going to use Oridon's effect, tribute himself and a token, and summon O Lion from deck. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn O Lion and a token away into Roland. Again, chain link one, chain two, yada yada yada. Summon our level three, Roland and a level three away into our Omega. So now again, like I showing you, this like the ceiling that this deck can have can do. Now from here we're gonna use Etel. You guys are like, what is he gonna Etel? Yeah, I don't understand. Blah 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 blah. Boom, Sire Reflector. This card is like blows my mind how insane it is and how most people actually don't know what this card does. When he's normal or special summon, add one assault and activate or one card that specifically lists it from your deck to the hand. So right here we're going to go ahead and add our assault beast. And now for assault beast effect is gonna go ahead and pitch itself to add assault mode activate from the deck to the hand and you guys think like oh like you know you're playing all these breaks blah blah, blah whatever it doesn't matter sour like your second effect on board is you can reveal assault mode activate try one monster in your graveyard that lists assault mode activate special him then declare a number and that monster you reborn will manipulate its level um according to what you do so if you reborn a four one it becomes a five this is really how we push even insane we're going to summon assault piece declare four now assault piece is an eight right from here, we're going to turn the eight and the one into Shadowman, a nine. Like, it, like look at the synergy that this deck provides. Now we're gonna use Jet Synchron effect, Pitch the Assault Mode Activate. So now we're gonna go ahead and turn Jet and uh, this boy into Herald. And then uh, we are going to proceed into the end phase. And then we're going to use uh, 
<coughs> Roland effect, send the Divine Sword at Phoenix Blade, and again, uh, Herald only acts as like a macrocosmos for monsters, not cards, so Divine Sword won't be banished. So we're gonna mill that, add Phoenix Gear to OTK next turn, and then of course we're going to go ahead and equip Smoke Grenade and equip our Olivier from our deck to the field, and then Charlemagne's effect is gonna go ahead and pop the Smoke Grenade to rip a card from our opponent's hand. So now, just from two cards, we net a Savage Negate. Herald walking macrocosmos and a negate. We net a Charlemagne, rip a card from your hand. We got Omega floating and ripping cards from our opponent's hand constantly, as well as we actually have protection for the Herald. So say your opponent enters battle phase, you can go ahead and use Roland's effect in the graveyard to equip himself to Charlemagne. This will trigger Charlemagne to pop a card on the field, right? And the crazy thing about Charlemagne is he consistently will be looping during each end phase. Um, you can keep equipping and keep doing it, so you can keep putting smoke grenade and keep like popping cards. So he receives really a threat against like control decks that have like multiple hand traps. You can still like start ripping cards from your opponent's hand. Even if they hold like a faker, you can just rip from your opponent's hand. So really, really strong in what this deck provides. Again, guys, if you guys want to see the deck profile, make sure you guys check out my channel. Link should be uh, down below. If you guys like this video, make sure to like this video and go like my deck profile. Comment what you guys want to see next from me and Steven. Of course, sub to Steven and I. And again, guys, this is Humza. And if you guys don't know what I always say, I always say keep on shining and never give up on your dreams. Peace.